Australia has a problem, feral cats. They have changed so much in both physical and behavioural characteristics from their domestic counterparts that we asked the question, could the Australian feral cat become a distinct species? These cats are not native to the continent and were brought to the country centuries ago. They arrived on ships sailed by European colonists back in the 1700s, possibly earlier, and they made their way into the Australian outback. Since then, they have driven 27 native animals to extinction, and they threaten 124 more. Every year, these feral cats kill 1.1 billion mammals in Australia. They are considered one of the most dangerous pests the country has known, and now new and inventive ways of catching and disposing of them are being implemented. So, could these cats become their own species? Perhaps. The evolution of feral cats has been documented elsewhere. The Madagascar forest cat is descended from feral cats, and after thousands of years, they have become part of the landscape on the island nation of Madagascar. They are not considered a unique species, but just like in Australia, they are significantly larger than the domestic cats with their own unique fur patterns. The same can't be said for the Corsican wild cat, however. This cat was likely introduced to the French island of Corsica by the Romans. There has been debate over the years about whether this cat is in fact its own species. In 2023, genetic analysis found them to be distinctly different from both the European wildcat and the domestic cat. So it seems that they have evolved into their own species. At the moment, just like the dingoes, the Australian feral cat breeds with their domesticated counterparts. But if the feral cats become so large that this breeding stopped and they began to see the domestic cats as prey and not mates, then the smaller genes from the domestic cats would be whittled out of the gene pool and the cats would only grow larger still. Everyone thinks that evolution is an incredibly slow process, and in some respects, it is. But with every single generation, there are new combinations of genes and mutations that may or may not improve the genetic fitness or survival capabilities of an individual animal. A larger cat means it can eat larger prey, fend off larger predators, and maintain a larger territory. So with each new generation, there comes the possibility of an animal surviving better in the environment, and therefore passing its genes onto the next generation. In the case of the feral cats in Australia, it also looks like the evolution is happening right before our eyes. We can physically see that the cats are bigger than the domesticated cats. This has only taken a few hundred years. Where will the Australian feral cat be in the next few hundred years?